Hello everybody, so Doge here with another video. Um, this time same team, same old thing. You know the drill. Um, team will be up there right now. If you want to take a look at it, feel free to pause it. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open with DMZ like I usually have been. I'm going to go for a uh, Ancient Power. And I'm going to get the boost on the first try, which does never happen. So I'm just going to kind of cruise off that for a little while. The Moon Blast is going to do quite a bit of work, but it's not going to quite take him out. And the Earth Power is going to hurt a little bit, but I should be able to shake it right off. So I take down one Pokemon and it's into Hitmontop. And this is where it's starting to get sketchy, because I know I'm not going to be able to do that. And the Bullet Punch does take me down before I get a chance to do any damage. So I put Quillfish in, get the attack debuff, and I'm going to try to set up some spikes. But I'm going to Thunder Wave it first, that way we get some done. So I'm going to set up some spikes here. I do get Spored, but I do have one layer of spikes. So I swap into Houndoom to force a switch here. And I'm going to get a Fire Blast that just annihilates that Aggron. So I'm getting pretty good ahead right now. And Hitmontop comes back in here, so I swap into Jellicent so I can kind of deal with it. And I'm starting to realize the only thing that he has to hit me is Sucker Punch. Everything else I'm immune to. So, I'm going to try to predict when he's going to want to Sucker Punch stuff. So I'm going to recover here to prevent him from doing that. And I don't want to will a lift because I, he's got that Mad Morgan still, so I'm worried about that. So I'm just going to Scald again and go ahead and try to force a switch by going back into Houndoom. He's he does paralyze me, but there's not a whole lot you can do about it. So I'm going to go for a Dark Pulse, and that's going to do a nice little chunk of damage. But not enough to take anything out. The Sucker Punch is also going to get him lower, but the Dragon Claw is going to ultimately finish me off here. So I swap into Jolteon, and I'm going to go for a Volt Switch to kind of get the momentum going. And I swap into Jellison again. And the Thunderbolt does hurt quite a bit, but the Scald's able to finish him off. So he pulls in with uh, a Moongus here, and I'm going to swap out and put the pressure on with Jolteon again. And I've got Hidden Power Ice packed on this, so it can hit it four times, and it's, it does a lot of work. The Giga Drain, however, is going to be really annoying to deal with, so I'm going to go ahead and use Hidden Power Ice again. It's going to get it close, and ultimately I am going to get this Moongus taken care of eventually. <laughs> so it is going to... Like, through the Paralyze, I'm going to be able to take it out eventually. But it swaps out here. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out as well, because there's no reason for me to stay in. So Jellicent's going to be able to take the big gun, no problem. And now that Magmortar is done, I can go for a Woolwish, no problem. But I miss. Uh, just my luck. So Amoongus comes back in, and I go for a small... Nothing, I can't really do much to this thing, unfortunately. But I need to swap out to make sure it's not going to drain me out too bad. So I swap into my Absol, and my Absol is going to be able to whittle it down with crits. And I see Hit on top comes in, and my thought is it's going to try to fake out, and my Absol can't take a fake out too well. And it does Bullet Punch instead, so I wasn't really expecting that, but not much you can do about it. So the Sucker Punch doesn't work because I'm going to go for the burn. And now that it's crippled with that burn, it's not going to really be able to hurt me too much. That Sucker Punch is going to hurt, though. And the Scald's going to get it down low enough that the uh, burn's going to be very close to finishing it off. So I'm going to go for a recovery here to ensure that I'm not going to die to the Sucker Punch. So Hit My Top goes down here, and it's just down to Drugadon. And it's down to 6% health. So I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp to try to seal it, but it misses. I really don't want to die to the Sucker Punch, because it's going to suck. But the skull does get him. 